In this video, I am going to explain how to write Verilog code for serial in parallel out shift register, which is shortly called as SIPO. So the inputs to this is a data that is coming and the clock signal and a clear signal. And the output is a simple 4-bit uh, Q0, Q, Q of 1, Q of 2, Q of 3. Now, let me take a temporary register uh, that is of a same size as my output. So temp 0, uh, 3 down to 0 which means temp of 0, temp of 1, temp of 2 and temp of 3. It can store 4 bit of data. Whenever there is, uh, whenever a positive edge of clock occurs that is always at the pause edge of clock, it will check for my clear signal and if my clear signal is high then my output will be 0. It will clear all the data. A register is nothing but a group of or bunch of flip flops right. So if it is 4 bit means then 4 registers will be there. So it will clear all the flip flops that are present else that means if my clear is 0 then initially what I am doing is I am allocating the right shifted version of 1 bit shift of my Q to the temporary register that I have taken and now the new output that I am displaying is the data that I am feeding in and the shifted version I am taking the last three consecutive bits of my temporary register. So the MSB bit of this queue I am eliminating as is means I am not considering at all. So if you take four bits uh, now Q is right shifted by one. So temp uh, Q of zero will be gone away. So Q of one will replace Q of zero. Q of two will come to Q of one like that. You can uh, put on your paper. You will get clear idea. Now here the last three bits we are taking and we are concatenating that in the MSB bit position, we are giving the data that we are go we are thinking to uh, look. So that is how you are feeding the input serially and you are looking the output of four bits in a parallel fashion. So let's see how the test bench of this would be. So the cases are similar. All these things when you insert a text feature uh, by default, these you will get. And now initially I am making my clear pin as one and my clock as zero and my data initial data as zero. After 10 time steps, my clear will become zero. So from here where uh, the main thing, uh, this portion will get executed. Um, now, the time period of my clock is two time steps. So for every one time step, my clock is becoming inverted. And for every two time steps, I am inverting my data. So if it is initially zero, so it will become one after two time steps like that. It will go on happening. So let's check for uh, behavior uh, simulations, how we obtain for that. Let me zoom this a bit. Yeah. Now here you can see up to 10 time steps here. My clear is high. So my output is zero. All the flops are reset. And immediate after the next clock edge here, you can see after the next clock edge, my data that I'm feeding is one. So D is one. So one is obtained at the MSB and this LSB is shifted out. You can see this zero is shifted out. So these three will come right side by one shift and the new data that I am feeding will come as input here one and in the next clock edge my data is zero so again this entire thing will be shifted right and my zero will come at the MSB position similarly again in the next clock clock edge again my D is one so this happens and that is how the serial in parallel out shift registers work hope you guys learned something new that's all for this video see you in the next one